Hi everybody, welcome to Style Thoughts by Rita and today's stream just gonna have a really fun and relaxed stream today where I was thinking we could do some online shopping together and I could talk. Translate them into style ideas when I'm looking for things online. Don't have any big, big plan in terms of presentation or anything. I just wanted to look at stuff together. So let me just tell you a little bit about what I was thinking. So as you know, recently I put out this keyword guide and I had a really nice short video about the keywords. So you can also take a look at that. And my point was just kind of to summarize what are these different keywords that we have in the style key system? What do they mean and how can you use them? And in some ways I feel like the keywords are super important for the style key because they're really good descriptors of what is your essence, and so what is the style that you're doing? But also I feel like in some ways the keywords are not as obvious to a lot of people. And I feel like, you know, they're, I guess it's like, they're not as obvious of a starting point to me as for example, the style logics, the quadrants, or even the archetypes. So I feel like they're a little bit like tricky, but also very, very helpful. So that's why I wanted to talk about them today. So the plan was just to talk a little bit about, yeah, what I look for when I'm looking for things that correspond to some of the different keywords that I am using. And I think I've talked about this before in general, I feel like shopping is just kind of a skill, which is so weird because we think, I don't know, it should just, it's just something that happens. But I think shopping is definitely a skill that we can develop in terms of our ability to actually find the things that we are looking for in the store. And I talked about this before, but I think it's really, really good to have a general idea in mind about the type of thing that you're looking for. I mean, sometimes we have like super concrete things that we're looking for, <laughs> like, oh, I'm looking for a jacket with this type of color and you know these types of details. But I think for a lot of the time, we don't have that hyper specific need in mind. We just have a general idea like, oh, I wanna get something. I can wear in the winter and we have kind of a theme. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about how I would go from this abstract theme and applying it to different clothes. Then I was like, let's just look at things together. And then I thought maybe if you have any questions or thoughts about how to find things online and how to do online shopping or how to interpret the keywords, I can answer any of the questions that you have. Okay. Like I was like, I keep worrying that it's like it's not streaming correctly or something because nobody said hi and I feel like usually people saying hi, but it says it's live and it's fine. So, okay. I'll just like think maybe people are not very social today. That's okay. Okay. So, that, yeah, so like without further ado, I thought that maybe we could just look at some stuff online and I could talk about how I interpret it. Um, maybe we could just start with some of the left. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks for saying hi. Maybe we could just start with some of the left keywords or do you wanna look at some of the right keywords? Can you tell me? And then depending on what your preference is, then we can look for things together, but let's just like pick a direction and then we can look for things that vaguely go in that direction. But I was thinking to do left words, but if people want to do the right words, we can do that too. So tell me what you want. Because I said, I mean, I like the live stream element. The whole point of it for me is that we get to do stuff together. And sometimes I like, yeah, I have a thing and I want to communicate it, but today I just want to hang out and have a good time. Okay, because so I was thinking with the left words. Okay, we have one word for the right words. Let's see what we get. In the meantime, speaking of the right words, how cute is this shirt? I found it. It was very, it was a random find. It was like, oh, it's so read up because it's white and it has flowers and it has like fun sleeves or whatever. So I feel like it's capturing all of the visual interest things I want. But the thing I love about it and why I bought it, because I was like, I don't know if I really need another white shirt, but I bought it because it's 100% cotton and I've just been really vibing lately 
with cotton fabrics and it's really nice and I really like it. Okay, we have three votes. We have three votes for left, one vote for right. So we'll do some left words and then we can do some right words later. Sorry for getting outvoted, sorry. <laughs> Okay, five votes for left. Okay, so let's do some left words. So my obvious, I'm just, I was thinking like, I don't want to make this complicated for you guys. So I was like, let's just look at H&M. And obviously, is this so Swedish of me that I'm like, let's look at H&M. Um, let me see if I can, how else I can arrange. Yeah, I think that's better. Because, but I mean, it is one of the largest clothing retailers in the world. <laughs> Probably can't go wrong looking there because I want just for you to see how obvious it is. Okay. I'm gonna put it in English just because for your ease of of view for your viewing ease. America. I'm in a really good mood today, guys. Although I'm so tired. Are you also tired? It's so dark. I'm like exhausted. But I'm also like really, really happy. Things are just good for me. Okay, so let's look at women. <laughs> and let's look at like Oh, let's look at new, no, let's look at just like literally everything. <laughs> okay, and I'll tell you a bit about how I look at things. So why did I go to H&M? I went to H&M in the first place because I feel like even though it's one of the biggest like fashion retailers and even though you can find a lot of stuff there for everybody, I do think it's a little bit left-leaning and especially it's left-leaning in the styling. So I wanted to go to this website so you could understand a little bit on like, do you see like, I don't know, the it's do you see how they doing things on purpose to create this a little bit like edgy cool girl effect which isn't like everything the left is about but it's a bit about that like do i just wanted to talk oh my God, we can't like i just want to talk just about like this specific photo even here do you see how they have done like her hair is like so undone why is the turtleneck like all up on her face right and it creates this very mysterious effect and she looks so moody and very very cool and she like she doesn't care and she's like slouching around so even though this is like literally just a blue turtleneck reminder it's just a blue turtleneck sweater that could be worn by anybody they definitely lean into this kind of like cool girl look with a lot of their models so in that way i think it's a nice place to shop especially if you're looking for the left keywords because they style their stuff in kind of the left way okay sorry i know it's blinking around a little bit I want to see if I can make my face a little bit bigger in the thing because I feel like now my face is not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> are these our only options? <laughs> Whatever, I'll leave it as it is. I'm always trying, so I've been trying to, so I, I've been going to, you know, different uh, streaming platforms options because i'm looking for the best tech thing so this is it somebody said glimmer says so much black stuff this season yeah it's always like oh it's dark let's all wear black which is like fine actually if you love black i'm really happy for you so do you understand what i'm saying about the overall like left vibe do you see like it's like the it's like they're creating a lot of like mystery and intrigue in their photo right the way she's like kind of angled a little bit away from you but she's kind of like looking over the shoulder i just feel like there's a lot of like attitude the nonchalance, this kind of like her whole body is really hidden in the outfit, but somehow like belly button is out. And it just looks like, it definitely looks like disheveled here, which again, you don't have to be disheveled to be on the left, but like, do you understand what I'm saying? It's very much trying to take a jacket that's actually a quite classic jacket, which is a double breasted cropped trench and then styling it in this way. So it looks a little bit like undone and cool and creative. So that's why I think it's fun to take a look at the H&M people if you want like a really easy vision on left styling vibes and attitudes. Okay, now um, let's see, we have a billion things here and a lot of the things are very boring, but a lot of the things are also like fun and especially I think they could be styled in really fun ways. So do you wanna tell me maybe like, what is like some of the keyword you're interested in? And I would tell you a bit about or like how I would think about where do we find things like this. <laughs> I'm saying like overall, while I wait for your thoughts and comments, overall what I'm like definitely seeing here is, as somebody said, definitely a dark color palette and just like a very muted color palette, right? It's very, very neutrals focused, which is kind of an HM thing in general, Swedish, you know, style, but very dark, 
very moody and also a lot of really big shapes. So it kind of corresponds a lot to this enveloping word in my system because his clothes are just really big on the models and they are very loose and it really feels like this style. Um, but then it's combined with these very central elements like, oh, like leather pants, like this top that randomly shows your belly button again in the winter or this like off the shoulder sweater. Ooh. So I feel like they're kind of playing with that contrast of the really oversized loose fits, but then also with this like surprisingly like sexy styles. And again, I feel like that contrast kind of gives this like easy left vibe. So that's why I just scroll on over here. Mm -hmm. Just a wait for you to tell me which of the left keywords or in general, like you're interested in. And meantime, I will just like comment some things <laughs> for you. Okay. Let me just say something. I love these like fluffy colored coats. I think they're so cute. I'm putting together like some short form content on different types of winter jackets that you can get. And I was thinking about these coats and I think that they're so cute and it's such an easy way to add glamour to an everyday look. Oh, this is like so cool. Look, she's just got the coat and I think underneath she just has a black sweater dress and she has some heels it's like why don't they just put tights on these women because it's kind of like if we are going to <laughs> if we are going to be wearing a coat why aren't we wearing tights you know where is this scenario and then it feels kind of like they think like oh but it would look worse with tights but it's like okay so it's gonna look worse when you wear it but you know i guess it's all part of the marketing game anyway do you see how even here they've added this kind of whoosh light playful effect i think that is like another visual way of communicating intrigue because for me intrigue and i know i use this word super much but it's just one of my favorite left words because it really corresponds to this idea that you are drawing like attention just inviting kind of attention um to yourself and what i think creates intrigue here right is like your brain is kind of like oh but what's going on right because the picture is blurry and unfocused, you're kind of trying to figure out like, okay, what, what's actually happening here? And I think that's super interesting and it creates a really fun effect. But to go back to the coat point, <laughs> I love those like fur edge coats because I feel like, yeah, it's just a really easy way to add glamour. And if you're a person who likes glamour stuff, especially even if you're a Ruby or whatever, but if you're using glamour as a keyword and you feel like, oh, but that coat is so extra, I'm not gonna wear it, it's like, you know, it's not really that complicated. It's just a coat. But I also love these short puffer jackets. I was also putting a lot of these on the board. I feel like they're so much fun because they're like so sporty, but also you can style them in very non-sporty ways. So I feel like it's just a very flexible style. Okay, but now I'm just getting carried away talking about all of my other ideas. Let me see what people are asking about. Okay, Alien in humanoid form is asking for elemental keyword recommendations, first of all amazing username secondly okay let's look for elemental stuff and for elemental stuff i have to say like i always think first about like okay what is the element i'm really looking for i'm gonna come back <laughs> and give you a little bit of a rita's style thoughts so elemental is also one of my favorite words actually i'm just gonna say that about all the words because i love all the words in the system because you know i've seen how people work with them so i'm obsessed uh but for me elemental it's such a great word because there are so many different flavors. And of course, there's also different flavors of sensuality and different flavors of intrigue and all of that is true. But especially for elemental, I feel like you can go in so many different directions just because the literal elements of our world are so different, right? So air, elemental, for me, <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is some sort of like a gray, sheer, like deconstructed that like tunic top with a bunch of like stuff like I don't know like exposed seams and like something like hanging off of it and just really you know um yeah like lightweight and shimmery I think about water elemental I always I guess for me it's very ethereal water I'm a big water fan so I definitely think about fluidity shimmer depth this and like play between light and depth for the earth elemental nourishing fertile grounding right heavy stuff definitely heavy stuff but also things that are very like lush 
I think, in organic shapes and colors and textures for the fire elemental. I mean, I think that's just like anything is fire because <laughs> it can just be eye catching and um, and it's like eye catching and active. Okay, so but let, anyway, so that was just like my kind of digression into the world of elemental. But let's just say like, okay, we want to like find just literally anything that looks elemental here. Nothing was speaking to me here on this page, so it's just sorted by newest instead of um, recommended to see what we <laughs> what? It's like a little neck scarf. This is really funny. I feel like, okay, this is so random, but like this to me is such like a fire thing because it's red, so it's like very obvious. And I feel like it's like a little scarf and you add it to the thing and it's very eye-catching. So if you have like a black jacket or like, you know, even a neutral jacket and you add that thing, it's just really eye-catching. And then maybe you have like some little sunglasses. I feel like that's very fiery. Basically great elemental stuff. Oh my God, this is not related, but this hat is so cute. I feel like you have to have a special head shape slash person. Like it's just, I feel like, I don't think I can pull off the shape of the hat. Do you guys have any thoughts on who can wear these hats well? Because I do, I love the idea but I tried something similar before and it just, my head is very small. Maybe you need a bigger head. Maybe you need to be shorter. I don't, I don't know. Um, okay, we throw back on the elemental track. I mean, this can definitely be like the air, right? This is a little bit dreamy, um, but I like how, again, like they're always trying to lengthen things up with the hair and this back that's really contrasting, but this is like a very obvious air thing, right? It's very, it's literally white and sheer, I think to me. Uh, I would just style it, yeah, as I did with something that's a little bit like creative and that's obvious. Oh, the skirt, very airy skirt. This is like literally what I'm talking about. It's like gray and there's stuff hanging off it and there's like sequins and I really like, it's like the shimmer and the shine and it moves as you move. So that's, I mean, obviously that's like a party event thing, but I think anyway, great air moment. So what I'm like looking for basically, and I wanted just to, this like the purpose of the stream is just to share a bit. Like what happens is I just like scroll through when I'm, especially when I'm trying to find the inspiration for specific clients or people that want specific stuff, I just look through things and I kind of see what catches my attention. And then I also imagine like, what could these things also be styled with, right? So, you know, this turtleneck, could be like super cute on somebody. It's, I guess, a little bit earthy because it's literally brown, but I also think it has this kind of uneven texture that you see in like the super close up. Some of the knits are like flat and some of them are more textured and ribbed. So that is gonna actually give the top this really interesting texture. Obviously, <laughs> most people are not perceiving that type of thing and they're not going to perceive it. But I like to think that everything we do has an effect, even if we're not sure most people are perceiving. And like, I don't think most people would perceive much about what I'm wearing, but I still, and I also really like these kind of uneven edges because that speaks to me about this elemental idea of like the organic. And I was talking about like earth. I really think about organic forms and something that is like non-controlled, right? So to me, this kind of a edge is kind of, the opposite of maybe like a scalloped edge. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where you would have a garment that's like sewn to have these very neat semicircular edge where it's like, so it's the same effect, but it's a diff, or like if you had like a more deliberate kind of ruffle where it was like made on purpose and the ruffle was controlled here, it looks like, you know, just kind of emerges by itself. So that's kind of how I think about things like the elemental, hope that helped terms of, I just notice basically what I'm drawn to, then I think about what could a person style, and then I use just like free association to think about like, oh, why does that thing make me think of this element? And I just let myself kind of go with the poetic thinking instead of trying to overthink it. I don't know why I'm obsessed with air, but here we are, I saw another outfit. I'm like, okay, this is a great air outfit, right? It doesn't have to be so literal. I'm <laughs> sorry. I just kind of a literal person. But obviously, you know, if it's all like white and silver and gray, ooh, it's like very airy because she literally looks kind of like a November sky here, right? And again, the shimmery shine on the top. Oh, sorry, on the skirt and this fluidity. I think it really speaks to like 
the whooshy wind. And then I kind of like how they styled it with this big t-shirt. It's very random. I don't know, I think for most people it wouldn't be something they want to wear, but I like it. But obviously, again, they think the important thing partially is to look at what they're doing, but also to be able to like go beyond that because you don't have to wear the skirt with this big t-shirt, but you could wear like a big sweater. And I feel like that could be cute. Oh, this puffer jacket also, that it really reminds me of the air because it looks so spacious and it looks so light. You know, some puffer jackets, they look very sturdy, whereas this one really looks, I don't know, it really looks like a, like breezy. So those are like the things I think about. And obviously you don't need to be creating a whole outfit that's like, oh, everything is silver, everything is ornamental. Like it doesn't have to be that literal, but it's just about kind of having the intention in mind about what you are looking for and then thinking like, okay, what catches your eye? Because ultimately the process of doing shopping is kind of this interplay, right? Between you as the person and the reality of the physical objects that are out there. And as with many art forms, there is no directly correct interpretation, right? So I can tell you, I'm like, here's a one way elemental, you know, it's, oh, it's deconstructed. Oh, it's heavy textures, it's distressed textures. You know, I can give you like in my keyword guide, or in the visual guides I have, I have like tons of examples. So it's not like, oh, it could be literally anything. But at the same time, I think that, you know, the point of all of this and using the keywords and finding stuff to harmonize with your essence is to find like what feels true to you, right? And what makes sense to you. So I think just like looking at things, observing them and seeing like, okay, how does this make you feel? What does this make you think of? That's really the, way to find the things that suit you. Okay, you like the literal cloud. Okay, and Justina is asking for enveloping, but not big and oversized. Great, so I mean, the obvious thing I'm thinking about that would not be oversized, like, so we're looking for something that's fitted, but that is enveloping, and so the, Two obvious things I'm thinking about is like something that's fitted that has like a wrap or a gather or ruching detail. And then I'm also thinking about like a tightly fitted top that has like, you know, those like long sleeves that go over the hands. Okay, we can't see this at all because it's black. It's other thing, other reason like black stuff is hard because you can't see. Let's look for draped. I feel like draping could be nice for enveloping. Um, Let's see. This could be a really nice, this is definitely not oversized. It's very body hugging, but I think this is a great idea for enveloping. Do you see how it covers up all the way up to her neck and it covers down to her hands and it goes quite low on the body. And not only is it covering the body, but it's really a, like hugging over the body and kind of clinging to the body in a way that I really like. So I feel like this is a very extreme example or is this a dress? But I think this is a great example of like an enveloping thing that isn't oversized. And I think this was like such a great question because yeah, you don't want to necessarily feel hidden. You just want to feel held. And I think actually a lot of this tightly fitted stuff for me can be really enveloping. So here, I like that this um, bodysuit has this wrap detail. Again, anything that's kind of wrap, I associate with this hugging. But I also think kind of more traditional, um, maybe like corset style top. Should we search for a corset? Corset top. I mean, yeah, some of the, the this could work. Yeah, because the thing is these ones, the ones that are like the bustier top. I think it can be, it does definitely holds you a lot in the midsection, but I feel like it's so open in the neckline that it's like not really enough kind of fabric to give you that feeling on the being held. But on the other hand, like this top, even though it's quite cropped, I mean, it also depends on your height, right? As she's a model. So if you're not a model, it's probably a bit longer on you. But here you get that feet from this like boning detail, especially if it's like, more rigid or something is actually sewn into it, which probably not on this top, but a different type of top, then you can get this feeling of really being held by it. And then here, 
I like how it's quite fitted through the arms and onto the sleeves and again goes over the top of the hands. I don't think you have to have over the top of the hands, by the way. <laughs> I'm not annoying you with that. I just think that is a really good, um, that's a good, that's like a good way to do it. Because I, as I said in my reel, I just think there's, you know, this, this wrists, they're very sensitive kind of pressure points for us. So I feel like there's something really about having your hands held. I think another thing about enveloping, it's also, it's related a bit to textures, right? So this coated type of fabric, it's kind of heavy. And especially if you have a garment that's like covering a little bit more of your body, I feel like this can give you an enveloping feel because it's really this cocoon protected feeling without the item necessarily being loose or overwhelming you physically. So one idea, I don't know if they make, I think they're not on trend right now, but you know, with coated jeans, it's the same as like a pair of jeans. Yeah, coated jeans are not really in. Are in if they ever come back, you know, that can be great because do you, I don't know if you guys know about this. It's like denim, but it's not like, it has that like a little bit of an extra shell kind of. So that is a really good option. Oh, let me see. Wait, sorry. Let me come back to you. Um, Elizabeth says, would a good way of wearing more revealing clothes for enveloping would be sheer fabrics that still drape and move? Yeah. And I mean, I think it's also about finding the balance, right? So as I said, you could just get like a, you could just get like a wrap dress, for example, that could, you could have a wrap top that's quite low cut or strip. I like, I just think wrap details are an obvious kind of enveloping thing. And that could be a revealing thing. I don't think you literally need to hide your body, but I think it's like you either need something that wraps or you need something that kind of holds and hugs. So yeah, but the mesh turtleneck under a more open top sounds like a great idea. And Beverly's asking, would hair texture like waves or curls emulate water or the air element? I mean, both, right? And that's like the fun thing about it. I actually think like waves and curls, they could even be like fire if you want to get to it. Like if you style it to be like really voluminous, I feel like that could give you this element of like, I don't know, obviously like the kind of cliche association with fires, but like the passion and taking up space, right? And kind of like vibrant and creative. So I feel like it's about thinking of it, like what is the overall story of the look? And yeah, how is it combining? And that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys in the stream that even though I think like, as I said, I have very clear guidelines, as you can see in the um, keyword guides, I'm like, here's like, 10 ways you can do this keyword. And if you go to my visual guides, yeah, I literally have hundreds of photos and I'm like, here's these patterns and they are intriguing. So I do think, and I think like some clothes, they're very like specific quadrant coded, you know, but at the same time, it is an art form. There's not like always one answer. It's not obvious. They're like, oh, only a person with like elemental essence could ever wear like this thing. So I think it's a bit disingenuous. Uh, or I don't want to be disingenuous and make it sound as if that's the case. I think it is a little bit flexible. Okay. Well, should we maybe look at some right keywords instead and to have a bit more fun? Or so Elizabeth's asking a good question. Elizabeth says, do you think people can generally sense where they are in the system or do you think that people often mistype? I'll talk about this a little bit. That's a really good question. I love it. Um, I think, the really nice thing with the system, I think, is like you definitely need to practice the ideas, but when it's working, it should like pretty quickly feel like it's working. I can give a really personal example. For me, when I started working with the Right Up Style Logic, it felt a little bit like weird and contrived, you know, it was like, do I really have to think about my intention in this situation? What is it even? But, you know, because I could see that it really helped my clients. So I was like, okay, well, I got to do this too. And also like in integrity with my system, obviously I should do that. Um, but then as soon as I practiced it a few times and I would kind of like sit down and, you know, when I was having a hard time picking an outfit, like when I was struggling, I would really sit down and I would think about like, okay, but you know, where am I going? What do I really want? What's the goal? And then, I realized, oh, like, no, once I like practiced it, it immediately got like really easy. And now it 
don't really need to, unless I'm really stuck, I don't need to think about it so obviously anymore. It just kind of goes on autopilot. So all of that was to say that even though I think there's a bit of a hurdle on figuring out like, okay, where is the soul logic and how do I apply it? Or like, yeah, what are my, what is dreamy for me? You know, there, there's definitely a bit of like a learning moment, but I think once you get over that initial struggle, like it should really feel like, oh, you're getting it and you're moving forward. So I feel like the nice thing is that even if you mistype yourself, you can usually just see that it doesn't work. It's like the style logic is a really good way to see that it doesn't work for you. But I think for other people, it's also the aesthetic, right? So let's say you really attracted to the sapphire style key and you're really attracted to these write-up looks and you're like, yeah, I wanna be that. And then you're trying to add these dreamy and extravagant elements to your styling where you're trying to do this like, I don't know, dramatic, intimidating, whatever looks, you would just, there's always a bit of like an adjustment period, but once you go through the adjustment period, you would probably be like, oh yeah, this doesn't feel like me at all. So you can just always see if you're wrong. But in my opinion, I think a lot of people just intuitively have a very, correct guess about where they would be in the system and then we just start to overthink it and get confused about it but equally well i think there are a lot of people for whom it is a bit hard to see themselves and to make sense of yeah what is the aesthetic that matches their essence and to understand what is the style process so i think i don't want to say like oh if it's not immediately obvious to you like you're in this minority <laughs> and why is it so hard? Because I do, I do think it can be hard for people, but I think my main thought is just, there is really no harm to getting it wrong, which is another thing I like about the system because if you get your color season wrong, for example, and then you, I don't know, maybe buy a whole bunch of clothes to suit the new colors and then you realize it was wrong, Kind of a big investment but here you can try on the style logic and play around with things and kind of do like low cost attempts to move yourself into the direction you want to go it's not that high stakes and then if it doesn't work you will have really learned something about yourself so in this example if you were trying to work with the sapphire style key and you know because oh you were like yeah obviously like refined and intimidating that's what i want to be you know uh but then you try to work with it and you don't like it the great news isn't like oh you're stupid because you thought wrong the great news is like you realize you're like oh wait this doesn't actually work for me and you gain some lessons on why it didn't work so i feel like again it's a bit better than stuff like color where you're just like okay i guess I have to start all over again but it's more like getting your style key wrong kind of really takes you into the right, right direction also, which I really like about it. Okay, that was a long answer. Maybe you didn't want that long of an answer. <laughs> well, I'm in a happy and chatty mood today. Okay, and then I thought maybe we could just look at a little bit of right stuff since for fairness, because I love all of my children equally. <laughs> Okay, let's look at some right keywords. I'm just gonna go to River Island, which is my personal fashion, fashion favorite. I love it. They have great stuff. I really like the quality. Um, I find things there, and I really like it, and I recommend it to people. And you, I mean, if you if you look at their stuff, you realize that I use their styling examples a lot because I also think I like how they put things together. So right away, where can we see here compared to the H and M? is that definitely they are not going for the like cool, mysterious, disheveled vibe. They are really here for the like put together, you know, all the hair is very sleek. The models, the clothing is very visible. The clothing is very visible on this like bright white background. So just comparing, I remember just, I don't know why I feel like this is, I just, this is a really good lesson, I think. If you just compare it to like the H&M, right? It's like you, there's like these angles, there's like lighting, there's shadows, there's blurring. It's like the, it's not immediately obvious what's going on. And I feel like they're really aiming for like attitude, right? <laughs> Whereas the River Island people, I mean, it's not like their girls are like smiley and happy or whatever, but it's definitely a bit of like a 
different vibe and I feel like that's nice and I think the nice thing about that is that definitely some retailers as I said they really go in certain directions so if you're learning how to read a bit what is the vibe of store you're looking for just like as soon as you visit there you can realize like oh the vibe just isn't really right for me or you're like okay I like some of these clothes but I should really be mindful to not take like their styling too seriously because I'm not gonna look like this type of person. That doesn't mean these clothes aren't gonna work for me. Okay, so let's just like, before we, you know, wrap up and say goodbye, let's, um, let's do like a right keyword or several like right keywords. Do you want to tell me one of the right keywords you want to see? and I will talk about it. And in the meantime, let's look at what's trending. It's trending is autumn outfits, party wear, silver and velvet. Oh, that sounds amazing. Let's look at autumn, I guess. Ugh, cozy. Cozy. Oh, this is so cute. What's going on? This sweater has like little sequins on it and these balloon sleeves that is so cute okay well two people asked for dreamy <laughs> so here we're looking at a very dreamy sweater because okay so you know like with dreamy stuff i don't think dreamy always has to mean cute i really really want to stress that i don't think dreamy has to mean cute but i think dreamy is about like right this stuff it's just like beyond it's like a bit like non-standard, but in a nice way, I guess is like a good way of putting it. And I feel like having like these random little like sparkles and of course the sparkles and stuff, it can go onto the luminous radiant direction also. But this is a really nice sweater. And also the reason I'm like looking at it so much is not only does it have that little sequin detail, but I also really like this subtle detail on the sleeves where they're kind of like poofy again like kind of this like princess gathers it gives it just a little bit more of that special like pretty a little bit unusual feel and i also saw people wanted radiant so don't worry we'll look for radiant as well very radiant for christmas party i don't know if you guys are getting invited to cool christmas parties but i would wear that but i don't know if i'm going to be invited to that type of party which universe, you know, if you want to invite me to a really cool party, please know I'm interested. <laughs> when I go to a party where I wear bright pink mini dress. This is like too cute maybe for like a lot of people. Like it's too cute for me with the little ruffle, but I feel like great for if you want, if you want like the really cute dreamy, this is really cute. So like for a lot of the time, I want to say like with, with dreamy stuff, I'm just like, oh, like that's so fun. Like when I look at it, that's like the feeling I'm looking for. I'm just like, oh, this is so nice. Like this is so special. You know, like look at this jacket. Um, again, like pink doesn't have to be pink to be the dreamy, but look how it's, you know, even the green one is dreamy. Let's look at green. So it's not all about being cute. Because I do think dreamy can have this like cozy folklore element, right? I like that it's like very airy and has this color. The rest of the styling with this athletic with the Uggs, it's taking away the dream factor. So let's go look at the pink version. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's like very cozy. I like the fur collar and it's kind of like unexpected and you're just like, oh, that's so nice. That's a nice jacket. Let's see if we can find some radiant stuff. Well, I know like I'm always on about colors, radiance, but I just think it's like so obvious, right? Like imagine if you were wearing this blue, you don't even need the whole suit, right? You just could have the waistcoat. You could have it with like a pair of gray or these, yeah, with some, with a skirt or whatever, but like so bright, right? Hey, they have coated jeans. That's very radiant. It's like in your face. <laughs> <laughs> but radiant doesn't have to be so over the top either. I just think, you know, because I really like radiant and I love things that are over the top. A lot of the times I end up making my radiant examples very over the top, which, you know, like it is hard to never project your own things onto style stuff. This is very radiant. It's very, the pinkness with the sparkly buttons. Obviously you want to not have your legs bare in the winter. Sequins very radiant, Ugh. white fur coat, very radiant. 
I mean, white, I mean, the reason I love white so much is because I love the Rougiant keyword. And obviously white is the most radiant color, right? Because it reflects literally every color in the color spectrum, right? So I describe this outfit, for example, as like radiant and glamorous because you have, right? You have a lot of white, you have a lot of gray. So it's like, it's very light. Literally, the outfit is like very, very light. And you have this like big collar, which I think really emphasizes again, the reflectiveness. You have sparkly earrings here. You have some sparkles on the sweater. You have like these little metal buckles, right? So everything is like very light, very bright, very reflective. And it's like very bold. So that's kind of like the light version of radiance. But as I said, you can also have the bright version and you can also have like, it doesn't have to be light or bright. It could just be like a pattern. Like I think, I don't love how they styled it, but I think this like red and white Christmas sweater can easily feel like radiance because it's like, there's this contrast between the red and the white and it's like playful and creative, right? Oh, this jacket is so cute. I love these types of jackets. Maybe I should put them into my jacket. Red patent leather bag, great way to add like a touch of radiance to literally whatever. I like that red is quote unquote trending. I think it's so silly that colors can be trendy, but look how cute this is. So she just got jeans and she has like a very timeless black jacket and little hoop earring. And then it's like, boom, bright red patent bag. That's like a great touch of radiance. And I would describe this outfit as refined radiant and understated, right? So you have very classic cut texture, right? On the jeans, it looks like you have this classic colorless jacket style, navy blue with jeans with red, like navy and red classic combo, right? Very classic hoop earrings, very minimal makeup, this kind of elegant hairstyling. So you have the very refined, like everything is really put together, but then you have this like pop on the radiance. And then again, but again, it's like understated because you're letting the bag just like be the statement and for me understated essence really comes from people that have this like amazing superpower to just like really be able to do more with less which is not to say if you're understated like you can never have fun i really hard disagree but it's like a lot of the times you're like oh but why would i because you know i just add on this bag and it makes such an impression already so who needs more and you know yeah i feel you i would like to experience that <laughs> let's see oh cute what of like sparkly stuff a lot of like luminous stuff i mean as you can see they're doing a lot of like shimmery like i like this i don't like the sweater they've styled it with i don't really think this outfit to me it doesn't make a lot of sense but i love this idea of this burgundy brown skirt with these boots because again you have this really shiny and it's going to flow and move as you move and i think that's really nice for the luminosity and i know i already talked so much about luminosity and texture in my posts and in the keyword guide and everywhere but you know i can never stop i think the nice thing about it is just to think about how texture can give the luminosity even when it's a dark color like you don't need to be wearing white to have the effect okay and Glimmer Lake says, would love to wear white, but then I look like a very unwell ghost. <laughs> okay, but then you can find your own like light color that feels like you. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. There must be like light colors that look really nice on you. But also maybe if you're just not a light color person, maybe it's like the bright colors that go more for you. And Elizabeth is asking, do you think fashion trends go through different archetypes or quadrants? Um, I mean, I, like, I think so, right? There's, but I don't know. I think I, no, please don't be sorry for the questions. I love the questions. I would just say like, I don't have any archetype or client that I struggle to find things for. So to me, that really feels like it's possible to be anybody. I mean, I have clients of like all different ages, body shapes, types, style preferences. Uh, yeah, the archetypes, the quadrants. And, you know, we always find something that they like and they're always looking really beautiful. And, you know, in the Leap, for example, that's my group course, right? We have 20 people and everybody's so different, but people are really finding 
stuff they love. And I, that's why I love working with style so much is because we do live in this world of like incredible abundance, right? Where I can go out and I can find this white shirt that has like little 3D flowers on it. And you know, this is probably not a very mass appeal shirt. So it's really amazing that I'm able to find things like that like a regular store and you know in some ways this to deal with this like overproduction which is really problematic aspect of fashion mm -hmm. but on the other hand it is really nice that there are just so many different options out there and I feel like it's easier than ever to find things you like and that's why I talk so much about like shopping skills because I do know a lot of people feel like oh but it's so hard Rita it's really hard to find the things I like for you know, my body type my colors my essence my archetype um and I, yeah, I never want to say like, I never want to disagree with your experience because it's frustrating when it's hard, but at the same time, it's probably, is like easier than ever. So that's why I really try to help improve shopping skills and help people find that better connection with what they want. But that being said, I do think some people like, I mean, it's like some looks are a little bit more trendy than others. And I feel like being like a fashion girly is coded in one way or another. I was complaining about this on Instagram the other day. You know, if you've seen my video on Taylor Swift, it's like amazing style because I feel like she has a very specific look and vibe that's very authentic to her. It's very relaxed. It's very like just respecting obviously like her own needs. And at the same time, it really works for her branding and who she is and you know, she's like the biggest star on the planet or whatever. So when I see content about how like bad her style is or like oh what if she had better style i'm like but what would you know why does somebody need to have like why would taylor need to dress like rihanna to have good style like it doesn't make any sense to me so i think if anything what annoys me is when people try to make it seem as if there's one way to do style correctly like there's one style logic or there's one way for good style to look because I think the most beautiful thing in the world is our individuation and that we're so many people in the world and we're so incredibly diverse and we each have our own thing and I think that's just like the best thing about being alive is our ability to you know connect with each other from a place of authentic difference I think that's you know what makes life so enjoyable and so joyful and so that's what I really love working with is really bringing out you know, what you individually want to do. And that's why I stress a lot of the time. I'm like, oh, but maybe for you, like enveloping is just having a wrap top, you know, and maybe you want it to be super low cut and you just want a wrap top. But maybe for another person, enveloping is having like really, really long sleeves. It's all about finding what really works for you. And the system is just here to offer you like a starting point, right? So if you get the keyword guide, I'm like, here are the five starting points, right? So if you want radiant essence, try light colors, try bright colors, try fun contrast prints, try shiny patent textures, try shiny jewelry, try some color in your makeup. And if you actually try those things, you don't have to buy all this stuff, but if you just try what you have and you go and try some stuff on and you look at some stuff and you explore, like you will find what you're drawn to out of those things and you will find your own definition of the word. And that's really the goal is for you to individuate and get to exactly what you want your style to be. That's also why, you know, I think it's so helpful for people to use the system how they want, right? I'm here and I'm like, here's the style logic, here's the steps, here's the archetype, here's like what you care about, here's the keywords, that's like what defines you, you know? But ultimately I think it's really nice that people take the system and they just do whatever they want with it because <laughs> my goal isn't to have you <laughs> conforming to like what I say. I gain nothing from you listening to, to what I'm telling you to do. I gain everything from you having a better time with style. And as I like to say, like enriching your life through style, right? Every time people send me a message or an email or whatever about how they're feeling better, they're enjoying themselves, so it's easier, like, right? That's when I'm really happy. It's not like, oh, Rita, I doing what you told me to and then i get happy i just want you to have a good time hi jessica thank you thank you for saying that the content has been useful so useful okay i'm gonna sign off now but i'm gonna tell you i have really fun content coming up first of all people have been asking me a lot about kibbe lately again i don't know a wave of interest so i'm gonna make a series of very short videos where i just show you like one i just show you like some how i would style the same image idea across the four style keys so I did soft natural was like a first draft, <laughs> then I'm gonna do soft dramatic and then I have like one outward formula and I just show how I style it. So it's gonna be coming up here, it's gonna be just like very short to the point. 
I'm gonna have some like winter dressing videos on like little steps you can take to winter up your wardrobe because again, that's another thing people have been asking me about. And I'm making some short-term content with like brand discovery because that's another thing I realize people are just like, okay, where literally can I go to find stuff? So I'm just gonna have a series where I talk about all the different brands I know because I know like hundreds of brands because I spend so much time online shopping for people and also like learning about style and everything. So I know so much. So if you have anything you wanna see, if you're like, oh, I wanna see this Kibi type, I want to see brands for this type of aesthetic, or these are the types of videos I want, like literally anything you want, just tell me because I love to take it into account. And yeah, I have a lot more time to make content. I'm gonna go back to recorded nice videos and I don't know, everything is on the up and up. So, okay, that's it for today, my beautiful, beautiful flowers. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for like also being in the chat. I really, yeah, feeling like we can actually connect and discuss together and hang out um, just energizes me so much. It's really like, yeah, fills my cup. So I hope you guys who are coming to the streams now and then, like I feel like, I hope you feel that way too, that it's just a really great, it's like always really nice just to talk but for me, it's just nice to feel like the sense of community on people who have like kind of similar views on style and what we're looking for in life. And yeah, well, everything I said about how we're not just looking to like fulfill that like dreamy checklist, but really trying like, oh, to figure out like, how can I do this in a way that's like easy and doable and enjoyable and then makes life better? Because that's what I want is just to make life better. <laughs> Glimmer like said that I'm doing it over a year. Not sure if I'm right up or down, but it's much better than not to use. Yeah, that's great. Exactly. Like just do it exactly the way that helps you. Okay, you guys are wonderful. You're beautiful. My heart overflows with love. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.